Hey, I'm Stuart Hillard from the Great British Sewing Bee and I'm going to be supporting Tea and Scones for TSC this year because I want to help raise funds and awareness for everyone affected by tuberous sclerosis complex. Today I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous bunting to help beautify your Tea and Scones party. Okay, so step one is to make a template and you're going to need some cardboard and you're going to cut a rectangle and it needs to be 18 centimetres by 22. You're going to find the middle and draw lines. Easy as that, make a triangle. Okay, cut that out and use that to draw around onto your fabrics for the bunting. Now fabric wise you're going to need some gorgeous fabrics for the front of your bunting and then you're going to need something like a plain, a solid, maybe even just some calico for the back and you're going to need to cut out an equal number of triangles for the front and triangles for the back. Okay, grab one of the outer fabric, one of the back fabric, put them together. Right sides, pretty sides facing each other and we're just going to put a couple of pins in hold the layers together like that and we're ready to sew. So your next step sewing wise is to sew down the long edges only. Don't sew across the top or you won't be able to turn your bunting through. So you see that bottom corner? We're going to snip it off and just leave a little. That's to reduce the bulk at the point. All right we're going to turn the bunting through. So you left the top open didn't you? <laughs> turn it through and then just use something like a pencil to push the point right out. Go easy here and don't use something sharp like a pair of scissors otherwise you'll go straight through the fabric. And there we go, it's all turned through. So all I'm going to do now is give it a press and we can snip off these little dog ears from here as well. That's going to make putting the whole thing together so much easier. So I've got some bias tape here. You can buy this from a haberdashery shop and I'm just folding it in half and pressing it ready to insert the bunting. Open up our tape, put the piece of bunting inside and fold tape over the top like that and then I'm just going to put a couple of pins in place to hold it while I sew. Okay so all that's left to do now is to sew nice and close to that folded edge and you're going to catch the front and the back in one go. Great and there it is finished bunting. Now get the kettle on. Please support the tea and scones for TSC appeal. It runs from the 11th to the 17th of May. Thank you.